Okay, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the pH lab that you guys are gonna be doing. You need the culture plate that is in your lab kit. You need the test, or not test tube, but the syringe that has anthocyanin in it, and it should have a sticker on it someplace that says anthocyanin. Notice that there are graduations on it that show you the volume that is in the syringe. You're gonna need pipettes, one for each fluid that you're going to be pipetting. If you look really close, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it on camera, there are actually volume measurements that are on the pipettes, and I believe, I'm looking through my camera phone, so I don't know if I'm getting it right, but I believe that this one right here on this pipette is one milliliter, so hopefully that is half a milliliter, which is the volume that we're gonna be using as we go through here. So, your culture plates. Sometimes they come already pre-numbered for you so you don't have to label anything. Sometimes they don't. If they don't come labeled for you, what I'm gonna recommend that you do is just go ahead and write numbers above the wells that you are going to be using. And each one of these little cuppy things, those are the wells that you're going to be mixing your fluids into. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take the lure lock, which is this black thing, off of the syringe, and then using the measurements that are on here, you're going to pump half a mil of your anthocyanin, which means you're gonna take the plunger all the way down to two and a half, which is right there, and you're gonna put that into the first well. Now your first well is going to be for your known acid. So in this beaker, I know it says starch, but that's because I was too lazy to take that off. This is vinegar. So I'm going to take half a mil of vinegar, which is up to the appropriate line on this pipette, and I'm gonna put it in here. And so what you'll notice is that there's a color change on the anthocyanin that is in there. Notice I'm keeping that pipette in that beaker. I don't want to cross contaminate, and so that's why I'm keeping that in there. Okay, next up, I'm gonna skip a couple steps just to kind of prove a point to you guys. So I'm gonna do in my well two, I'm gonna go down from two and a half to two to do half a mil of anthocyanin in well two. And then this is gonna be my stand in for my baking soda solution. Let me get this down to half a mil. And this one I'm gonna put over here just so I don't contaminate any other fluids. And notice the color change that I get on that. Now, baking soda that you guys are going to use is a known base. The vinegar was a known acid. You guys are going to do water, which water is supposed to be neutral, um, and then you're gonna do an unknown solution. This gives you a qualitative measurement of acids and bases so that you will be able to tell whether the solution that is unknown is an acid, base, or neutral based on what color it turns. So acids turn anthocyanin pink or red, neutrals stay in the purple color, and then bases can turn it blue to when it's a really extreme base like what I used to green or yellow off over there. Hope that helps you complete the experiment. Good luck.